All right, hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is some matrices, and specifically we're doing row transformations, and we're doing the basic elementary row operators. What I want you to do in this practice problem, I want you to start off with this matrix. It's an augmented matrix with 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, 6. And before you do the uh, go through this problem, let me explain a little bit. You have three basic operators, operations. One is the switch, where you just simply exchange the rows. You just change the, you know, you just, you just switch the rows. In the second step, you multiply it by the number. You just take the row, whatever the row is and you multiply it by that number. Now with the last operation you can combine it. You can add rows together. You can add or subtract. You can add a row by a number times another row. And it has to be a different row. And that will go into the row that you started with. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can do this on your own. All right, hopefully you took the time to do this problem. You know, there's, you know, it's involved. There's going to be several steps. First, you're just switching the rows. You're switching rows. So this equation goes to the second row. So that's two. 1, 2, 5, and then this is moving up. So that's going into row uh, 1, so that's 3, 4, 6. Then another operation that you can do is you can multiply the row by any number you want except for 0. You can multiply it by a fraction if you want. You can multiply it by any number you want. It could be negative. What I decided to do is multiply row number 1 by 5. And it's the new row. I'm not going back and looking at this over here. It's the previous. So this is going to be 3 times 5, 4 times 5, and then 6 times 5. So that's going to be 15, 20, and 6 times 5 is 30, precisely. Then this goes into, you know, just stays the same. So that's 1, 2, 5. All right, the next thing you're doing is you're taking row number 1, you're subtracting 2 times the element, that's whatever this is, that corresponds, multiplying that by 2, and then you're subtracting. So it's going to be 15, and you're putting that into row 1, wherever you start with, that's what you want to finish. And that means that row 2 is going to stay the same, it's not changing. So row 1, all right, 15, minus 2 times 1, so that's 2. So 15 minus 2, that's 13. You do the same thing with the 20. So it's 20 minus 2 times 2, which is 4. 20 minus 4 is 16. You do the same thing with the 30. You're starting off with 30 minus 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So this is 30 minus 10. That's going to give me what? 20. And then row 2 stays the same. So that's 1, 2, 5. That's it. Hopefully you get familiar with these. You can exchange any two rows you want with this. You can multiply a row 
by any number you want except for zero and then you can combine any row any two rows you want so you, and then you can add it or subtract it by a number times that row and it could be any number you want it could be positive or negative now if it's zero you can do that but that's useless you're gonna you're gonna just stay the same it's not gonna do anything and you can pick any number you want when you're doing row transformations usually you're eliminating something so you can intentionally pick a number so that when you subtract it you'll get zero as a result so those are just a, a well it's the elementary row operations for matrix transformation